when we were in high school and we saw a girls fighting, we wanted to run to that fight because there's no stopping girls. I am Steve Trevino and I'm very excited because I am here with Marion and I gotta tell you something. I'm so interested in you because you are the quintessential fighter by the sense that they didn't want you in the UFC show, yet here you are. Yeah, I was too old at 36, and here I am at 43, almost gonna be 44. <laughs> and what's even crazier is you're gonna fight someone who won the very show that you weren't allowed to be on. That's gotta be fire in your soul. It's always fire in my soul. I love what I do. Who would have thought this little girl who was fighting in kindergarten would grow up to do this as a profession? So I really love it. Where was the moment of, no, I can compete on a real level here? Well, the moment that I really got interested in fighting was when I seen Gina Carano and Chris Cyborg fighting um, on television that one time. And I was like, what? They get paid to fight and females can do it? I was like, sign me up. I want to be a part of that. I was a teacher, but I could barely feed my son. And so I just wanted money to be able to buy groceries. Literally, that's it. I was like, I can do that. To me, what makes UFC beautiful is that here we have these female athletes actually selling tickets. And people are coming to watch females in a sport. So there's gotta be something inside you too that makes you feel proud that, hey, we're showing the world that we can sell tickets too. You know, there's always something about a female fight that draws attention. Let's think about it. When we were in high school and we saw a girls fighting, we wanted to run to that fight because there's no stopping girls. They put on a show. Right. That's what's the draw. It's just, there's something about a female fight. Well, I mean, that kind of takes me to my next thing with you. When I watch you fight, you are relentless. There is no reverse button on you. It's only forward. Does that come from life? Did it become your style? And there, it's not Maureen. It's a whole nother persona of who I am. It's that beast inside that just wants and knows that, hey, if I don't do it, she's going to do it to me. So I have to move forward. I have to create that opening for myself to, for victory. That's awesome. And, and and to get into the marriage side of things, there's something really special about you and Mondo. Armando. <laughs> so you meet Mondo, and how do you guys meet? From training? Mm, actually, we met at uh, my job as a high school teacher. He was the wrestling coach at the time. And ironically, when he knew that I wanted to fight, you know, something inside him, he was like, no, no, you know, I don't want you to fight. And there was a point in our relationship where he's like, either make a decision, you either pick jujitsu or me. And I was like, well, I'll see you later. Wow. And for a while, we were broken up until he realized, okay, you know what? This is the girl that I want. This is what she wants to do. I can either join her or not be a part of her life. And he just joined with me and he became an intricate part of my training. He's uh, my head coach now. You know, me and my wife, we're, we're a partner. We work together, right? She's part of my comedy career. And sometimes we get into some big arguments because we are spouses. Does that happen with you guys? <laughs> well, <laughs> I have to remember he's my coach and not my husband. And so when I'm training, I have to remember it. A lot of times I have to bite my tongue because, you know, I want to say something. I'm like, he's my coach not my husband. So I have to I have to remind myself of that and it's gotten better over the years. The fact that you and your husband work so closely together, I admire that because I know how hard it is, but I also know how rewarding it is. So I, I wish you the best on Saturday. And the last question for you is, who is your favorite comedian, past or present? Well, I haven't really listened to a lot of comedians lately, but um, back in the day, it used to be Dane Cook. <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't know she's 43 years old, the fact that she's a Dane Cook fan says everything. <laughs> well, I, I wish you all the luck in the world because you are definitely a strong inspiration out there. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, have a great day. 